Something you need to do constantly in Godot and in any game engine really is to reference game objects. In Godot, these game objects are called nodes and we compose them to create entire games. We use them for so many things. The camera here is a node, the collision shape of my character is also a node, and we need to access all these from our code and so we want this operation accessing and manipulating the nodes to be really fast. Thankfully, since Godot 3.5, and here we are in Godot 4, this is really easy to do. This video is sponsored by Godot game devs like you who invest in learning with GD Quest. Remember, for a limited time, you can pre-order our Godot 4 courses below launch price. If we head to the scene doc on the left, you can see some person signs next to some nodes. This tells Godot that I want to be able to access these nodes by name directly in my code. Let's open the player script to see what this gives us. So now I can write person sign followed by the name of the nodes I requested, like my marker 3D here, but also we have the plasma gun if I go down the script or the shot sound that we're playing when shooting a bullet. Let's see how you can do this too. So heading back to my scene doc, I'm going to remove the mark next to the camera 3D node. And so to activate this feature, you can right click on a node and then go down to access as unique name in the drop down menu. If you click it, you'll see a person sign appear next to the selected nodes. And from there, you can uh, go somewhere in the script editor. And if you drag and drop your node onto the editor, you'll see a person sign followed by the name of the node, right? And so you can use that to then access the properties of the node, like make the camera current or change it or whatever you'd like. Another great thing about that is that performance wise, it is pretty ideal. Kudo will cache the node and it will not get it from scratch every time. Instead, it will keep a hidden reference to it to maximize performance of this code. This means that now you don't need to write lines like on ready variable camera is equal to, you know, path to the camera. The node will be cached for you so you don't have to create an extra variable. There's one case where you might still want to use those on ready variables. So here I have another scene, another project, and if I open the dialog script, you'll see I have on ready variables to get these nodes. And this is not for performance. This is actually for typing. And uh, when you are working with a scene open, Godot will find the types and autocomplete those nodes properly. But when you are editing scripts directly from an external editor like VS Code or Vim, uh, you're not going to get this type information. So in those cases, you want to have on ready variables with the type information. Subscribe to get more videos like these and be sure to join our Discord community. It's a great place to give and get help from fellow Godot users. You'll find a link in the description.